Okay guys, this is Stefan back again. Um, well, uh, I disconnected um, today in the morning at 6 a.m. Uh, the, um, the 10 watts uh, bulb I connected and uh, charge it up again with this Einhell Charge Master 4A charger and um, now it's almost again 12 hours running on this charger and it still displays about 2 amps charge current and as you can see the voltage is now at 15.98 volts the charger is still connected and I just wanted to show you the bubbles I'm getting uh, from the HHO Let's see if one can see that a bit They are still coming some bubbles out of the electrolyte from time to time. And um, there is some crystal built up here at the minus pole and not much at the plus pole. And at the plus pole there, there are coming I guess more bubbles. It's a minus pole, and also from the from the filling. I don't know if you can see that on the filling line. The plus pole. The first two cells have um, have gassed more probably than the other cells. I don't know why, but it seems this is the case. Okay, uh, so let's now just disconnect the charger and see what um, what voltage we will get then. So let's see where the voltage goes after maybe one minute. And while we do this, um, I can just quickly check um, the um, pH level of the battery. here a different pH paper level, pH indicator paper. Uh, so let's see, Let just pull up a bit of electrolyte. Uh -huh. So you can see now it's around pH level, let's say, 2, uh, so it's pretty acid now, uh -huh. so the SO4 ions uh, have converted a bit to, uh, I would say, sulfuric acid, but, hmm. Um, but you can probably still touch that. I don't want to do that now, but anyway. Um, 
so ja. Let's see. Ja. Almost two to one already. I would say. Anyway, okay, voltage is now down to 12.11 volts. So these alum batteries really have a lower voltage, standing voltage, after we've charged them up. I heard that it's better to first cycle these batteries with, with acid in them and then pull the acid out, drain it out and then just fill it up with loom water so well I don't know um, what I still wanted to test now um, yeah I wanted to show you in the meantime still um, a test about the normal distilled water with this pH paper again Okay, let's see. Okay, let's see. If you can see that. Okay. Hmm. level 5 to 6 I would say so normal distilled water is already a little bit acid hmm that's curious why do you think that is so is that a bad brand which I have here is this Edeka distilled water please comment on the below the video what do you think it is? And how? Oh. So let's compare still uh, to the old alone water here. Is still a bit left from the filling. Let's see what we will get in here. Water just now down to. 1201 on the battery. Let's see. Hmm. As you can see, there's a difference between this alum water the charge up a loom water you know you see that it's different the battery is now more acid than the direct uh, what I filled in the loom water this is about only you know about pH level 4 I would say That. Yeah. This is now pH level 2 to 1, and this is still, let's say, 4 or 3. So the charging really changes all to the pH level. Uh, okay, voltage is now down to 11. Point 97 volts okay and now I will again connect the load the 10 watts load and we will see how it goes
Um, no it falls again pretty fast. Probably still show the current through the bulb, but I, uh, I still have to set up my other meter now again. Anyway, I will now let it run down again for maybe six, eight hours, and then between each two or three hours, record again the voltages and the current. Okay, this is a first update now for today and I will try now to to build another battery with uh, with sodium sulfate and compare that to this battery yeah. okay I hope you liked it and please comment uh, subscribe and yeah subscribe and like and, and comment please below and give me your tips what I should try now next Okay, thanks a lot then. Bye-bye.